Germans, the Lord points to me as our Savior. We must fight the evil of the Bible, the Jews. The Jews were the ones who crucified our Nordic martyr, Jesus. Fear not, Germans, I am the Messiah. Yet now hear, O Jacob, nine, my nine, servant. Nine, nine. Read the book of your German, Fiora. Mein Kampf! Kill all the Jews! Oh, I like this. Da, it's the German way. I have written in my book, the book of the German people, why our new religion is better. Christianity was un-German. We do not sympathize with the weak. We are the master race. This concept of loving others will paralyze our great people from action. We need to be ready to strike the lesser people, not love them and care for them. Please, I'm so hungry. Give me food. Yeah, you go. Thank what you are you doing? So much. Do not give food to the weak. They deserve to die. So basically, what the Germans and Hitler did was they took all the principles of Christianity they didn't like, mercy for others, worshiping God, the Bible for the most part, and they changed them. They substituted it with Mein Kampf and the Hitler Youth instead of youth groups to help brainwash the younger people. This kind of drove out the churches from Germany and also helped Hitler establish this hatred ingrained in German society of the Jews by changing parts of the Bible, such as Christ from a Jew to a Nordic martyr who was killed by Jews, and even in one of his speeches claims that I am a man who, like Jesus, is fighting our true enemy on earth, the Jews. Christianity wants us to yield to God, but we are the German folk need only follow me, Hitler, your leader and messiah. I will lead Germany to greatness. And no German dare kneel before any other. Like Jesus, I am your Aryan savior. To bring prosperity to the Germans, we must attack the Jews, the enemy, and their brethren, the Arabs, who are also subhuman. We will not have mercy for others. We are the true masters of the earth, and will need not to protect the sick, crippled, and inferior. Burn them all. In conclusion, races we like. Aliens. Races we don't like. Jews, Arabs, Africans, Gypsies. Women of Germany, you are to be good mothers and raise your children while your husband works and to keep a very decent home. That is your calling. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's illegal. Then they go. As lovely as my womanly legs are, I can't wear pants. You're dyeing your hair or getting perm. Can't be a curly blonde. Get swole Sundays. They're slimming down. And absolutely, positively, no smoking. Now I know many of you young couples don't think you are ready for marriage, but you are not too young. In 1933, I passed the law of encouragement for marriage. And all you new married couples will get a government loan of 1,000 marks. That's nine months income. 800,000 couples have already accepted. You don't even have to pay off the loan. Each kid you have is worth 25% of your loan. If you have four children, there goes your loan. It's gone. Get married. Have kids. Also, in 1943, we consider the law that all women, women should have four kids with racially pure fathers. And once they had four, the father could just move on to the next woman. Players! How many kids you got? I got 24. I got 25. Ah, nice. I like my woman fertile in this river valley. I like to know 
However, we decided that this would cause social anarchy, so we decided against it. However, there's still a reward for having children. On my mother's birthday, August 12th, the Motherhood Cross will be awarded to women with large numbers of children. Hello, women of Germany. Today I'm awarding you with the Motherhood Cross Award. While neither of you received the Gold Cross Award for having eight children, you do receive the bronze and the silver. To you, a bronze award for having four children. To you, the silver award for having six children. Keep up the service to Germany, and one day, maybe you will earn the Gold Cross Award. Probably my loins are further enough. If marriage isn't for you, you can visit one of our many Lebensborns. All the single women go there to get pregnant by the racially pure SS men. Do your part to contribute to adding soldiers and mothers to the people of Germany. So what are you doing here? I'm not. Uh, just waiting for all the fertile women. Just doing my part as an SS man. Finding some single ladies to impregnate. That's what I like to hear. Yes, sir. Germany. Do you want other ways to contribute to Mother Germany? I do! Here are two ways how. This is a public service announcement. Women of Germany, it is time for your duty year. Work patriotically in the factories to help maintain the miracle that is the German economy. This is a public service announcement. German women, join the Girls League. It's for German women who want to be taught male superiority an essential, and bearing children, another essential. It's literally the best thing in Germany. Women of Germany, if the man's world is said to be the state, his struggle, his readiness to devote his powers to the service of the community, then it may perhaps be said that the woman's is a smaller world, where her world is her husband, her family, her children, and her home. Homosexuals in Nazi Germany were, well, they weren't very liked. Uh, this was mainly due to the fact that they did not fit the description of the Aryan race and they could not breed. In all, roughly 15,000 homosexual adults were taken to concentration camps and many were castrated as punishment. Any SS man thought to be a gay was immediately taken out and sent to a concentration camp. I wonder what that was like. What is this? What are you doing? It's chapstick. It's cha no, 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 no. Get to the chapstick. Get chap to the concentration camp. Get to the, get to the concentration We have a gay man. Nazis created large propaganda campaigns against mentally and physically disabled people. This is because they did not fit the, dis uh, the description of the pure Aryan race, and they were assumed to create inferior children, so they were not allowed to breed. In July of 1933, Nazis allowed forced sterilization of 350,000 men and women that were likely to create inferior children. Between 1919 and 1941, a program of euthanasia was used to kill at least 70,000 mentally or physically disabled people. The Catholic Church in Germany started protesting and eventually Hitler had to stop to prevent a public revolt. Be strong for the Führer! No crutches allowed, no physically disabled, keep going. Oh, the Führer will be happy with this gun. It is incredible. Look at that. Oh, I cannot walk anymore! Ah! I must end it now! Nazis didn't like old people very much. Good morning, Mrs. White. Hello. How are you feeling on this fine morning? I'm quite fine, laddie. How are you? I'm doing well. I just had a few orders to carry out from the SS manager. No, no, 
it's, it's okay. Don't take me it's away. It's okay. We're not going to take no. you away. I'll hit you with my cane. You're just please. going to go for a nice warm no. shower. It's going to be no. lovely. No. Come on, you can no. do it. Get up. No. Just having. Shh. Come no. on, come on. Uh, come my on. old cripple come bone. On. Shh. No. We're just going to go for a shower. No. That is all. No. It will be okay, Grandma White. You will be okay. No. You'll come back and we can think about the days and talk about Nazi Germany. No. Think about. Deutschland ist Angelkessel means something in German. Talking about Germans and Germany, let's talk about how the Germans treated the Jews. Many believe the hatred of Jews was lying under every German soul. But Hitler expressed his hatred for Jews in his book Mein Kampf, which means my struggle. Most of his complaints in Mein Kampf actually linked to uh, Jews doing things which necessarily they weren't linked to um, that would lower the white Germans' um, cultural and political status. This lowering of the German status would bring the Jews to the top. Moving on up, moving on up to... Oh, you, you didn't see that. Oh. Hitler blamed the Jews for bringing blacks into the Rhineland. He blamed them for wanting to contaminate the pure German white blood with procreation. He believed that the Jews were purposely trying to cripple Germany. He saw the Jews as a disease and that they contained a lack of will to sacrifice and had cowardice. He blamed the Jews for the end of World War I and the outcomes of it. He also believed that the Treaty of Versailles was a Jewish conspiracy. Regular Jews. Hi, I'm Jewish. Hitler Jews. Come on, blacks, to the Rhineland. So, you come around here often. Jew, Germany. I am Jewish. I am a disease. I will disease all you German people. <coughs> hey, my good Jewish friend. Let's end World War I and then cripple Germany. You agree? Great. So that's it then. All right, we've done it. This is how to cripple Germany. Treaty of Versailles. We should have called it the Treaty of Jewish Versailles. Jew. Jew. Everywhere. Jews. I'm really thirsty. I want some juice. Because of Hitler's hatred of Jews, when he came to power, he enacted a few, um, things. Because of Hitler's hatred for Jews, when he came into power, he openly d expressed this dislike. His primary goal at that time was to make Jews so miserable that they would immigrate from the country. On April 1st, 1933, members of the SA picketed Jewish shops so that they would be boycotted. This was a one-day event. Jews were beginning to be banned from public places, or signs would be placard in the front that said, Jews enter at your own risk. What, is this like an amusement park? Many Germans were urged not to use Jewish products or be uh, practiced on by a Jew, as in doctor-like things. Under the Nuremberg Laws on Citizenship and Race in 1935, Jews were no longer considered citizens. They also were no longer allowed to marry Aryans. What's up with that? In 1938, a significant event happened on November 9th and 10th called Kristallnacht, also known as Crystal Night. During that night, around 90 Jews were killed. Around 20,000 were sent to concentration camps. 400 synagogues were burnt and over 7,500 Jewish shops were attacked, burned, broken into, and all of that so that the Jews would immigrate. Like if you really wanted them to move out of Germany, you should have just bought them tickets to, uh, I don't know, America. Or not, because I don't know how the immigration thing was going back then. Pretty sure it was better than getting your shops burned down. Now some of you, very small majority, might be asking, what is a concentration camp? Well, it's a place where Jews were sent to concentrate on things. That, that's not it? No? Oh, okay, never mind. That's not right. Concentration camps were actually places where Jews were sent. Um, they had really bad conditions and they were exerting a lot of physical labor. Um, and this was done until they died. It was literally working them to death.
because they wanted to extinguish the Jewish race, which is kind of insane because Jew isn't in a race. It's a, it's a religion. So yeah. In these German-operated camps, the Jews would be making things to help with the war effort. Um, also, a lot of Jews were uh, sent to extermination camps as well, I think they were called, and uh, these are like gas chambers and stuff where they were gassed and then put into an incinerator to burn the evidence of their bodies. It's really dark. Finally, those Jews that weren't in, you know, concentration camps were openly, you know, beaten up and hurt by the SA and the SS. Um, because Germans hated Jews. No good reason, it's just that they were mad and they threw a hissy fit. A rather large hissy fit that actually scarred the world for life. So thank you, Germans. Here are some of our vocabulary words. One, Lebensborns, where they were building all across Germany where single women could go to be impregnated by racially pure SS men. Vocab word two, duty year. It is when women were allowed to work patriotically in factories in order to help the Nazi economic miracle. Vocab word number one, Aryan. Term used by Hitler for the superior race of human beings in Nazi society. Vocab word number two, euthanasia, the act of ending someone's life out of pity or to stop pain. If you laughed, you're a horrible person.